This segment is being brought to you by Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, everyone. In this segment, you can call us here at 615-737-7767. We'll be ready to take your phone calls. Till those start coming in, uh, I wanted to mention we've got a, a really good friend of ours, one of our pro staffers, uh, Dayton Blair, his lovely wife, Robin. Her dad's in real bad shape, and he wanted, he's watching the show, and we just wanted to mention him. His name is Bob Chambers, and he worked at AEDC. He's in the Vanderbilt Hospital right now, and he is a Vietnam veteran. Um, his illness was from the years of, of uh, that he was at Vietnam. Uh, has really taken effect on his system. He has ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, and... Uh, we just want to give him a big shout out. He's watching the show tonight. We appreciate you very much, Bob. And also, we all here at Channel 5 Plus in Southern Woods and Waters appreciate your service to our country. Uh, it's very important, and we thank you for that. And uh, we just send our prayers that, uh, for a speedy recovery and hope to see him out on the water soon, okay? So we just thought we'd mention that. We got a special request on that. So uh, fishing-wise, now we've touched a little bit about deer. Let's talk fishing because you've been doing a lot of fishing lately. Been doing a lot of fishing, yeah. How is it? Well, in the evenings uh, is when I can go because whenever I get off work. Right. It's all right close to sundown, but that heat has got them. You, if you ain't fishing in more than 10 foot of water, you're not you're doing very well. Or shade. Yeah, yeah. you fish in shade and catch them, but, but it's got to be deep. It's got to be deep. Yep. What about the hybrids and stuff? Because I know you've been using top water and stuff like that. What about hybrids? Are, are they in the jumps now? Are they jumping? They're and all just that? out. They're, they're out of the jumps now. They, they um, about two weeks ago, um, and the two weeks before that, it was on fire. I mean, it was just. It was everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. There was. Just, so they've kind of gone down now a little bit yeah. because of the heat. You think they'll come back here for long? Uh, if it cools off any? Probably starting in uh, probably around deer season. <laughs> around deer season? That's always my luck. It but, gets but what, really what good they're doing, What they're season. doing right now is they're staying right around <clears throat> the thermocline. Mm-hmm. And they'll go down, they'll dip down and stay cool and then come back up and you get some air and <laughs> go back right. down. And uh, But... The biggest thing on finding them right now is going to be finding bait, and uh, is there a lot of bait out there on the lakes? Yes, there's a lot of bait, and uh, closer to the evening they they get up shallow, so you can catch them in at night. I, I've got a friend that's been catching them pretty good on the Caney Fork, and uh, I don't think he starts fishing until 10 o'clock at night. Oh yeah, and uh, but for big striper, yeah. <clears throat> about 10 to 2 or something like that. Either. Oh, yeah. That's prime time, though, though yeah. for that for that river system. Yeah. What about uh, catfishing and stuff like that? Now, you and Kevin and your dad, because it came up on Facebook a year ago, y'all went out and caught like 60 or something big catfish on a pond. And jugs. On jugs, that's right. Right now is the time to be running jugs at night. This is it, isn't it? It's it. What do you use for bait now? Skipjack. That's the if only If you can way. find catawba worms, use catawba worms. Our catawba worm trees are loaded right now. Really? Yeah. So uh, we need to be planning a trip <laughs> here pretty quick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, catawba worms and skipjack. We just had a mayfly hatch a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Uh, Old Hickory, Percy Priest, everywhere was just covered with mayflies. Um Catfish were actually feeding off the top of the water on the on the mayflies. A little vacuum. Yeah, it looked like a, a Hoover vacuum going <laughs> yeah. back and forth. Uh, but it was great to see it. We it, it was a huge hatch this year, uh, so that helped. But now we've got cicadas starting to come out. Um, they're not in the force that they used to be, though. Yeah, it's not a. Not it's a, not as big, is it? Not as big as that. What was it? 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like, ooh, supper. <laughs> you know, there's everywhere. Yeah, it was hard fishing, too. And it was hard fishing because they everything was eating them. Yeah. They were full. Yeah. Um, so now we've got um, uh, the shad coming up. Is there any shad spawns going on or anything like that right now? Uh, 
I'm not even sure. Not really with not, all the water. I don't think so. What about the high water? Well, the water's kind of starting to go back down. The Cheatham was five feet down. I, I doubt a barge could even run up, run up the river this past couple of days. Is uh, that bad? Yeah, especially up towards the the dam where it gets shallow. Yeah. Um, right there around the bridge. Yeah. I, I'm not sure a barge could have got through there a couple of days ago. Well, I mean. Yeah, Kevin sent me a picture of it, uh, I think it was yesterday, and it was five feet low. Now, you're talking about the on. Ashley City Park Bridge, where the park is. No, Old the, Hickory the Boulevard big, Bridge. Oh, Old Hickory Boulevard where Bridge. Where that shallow spot is right oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, where the, uh, the, the old rapids. The old rapids is. Yeah. Yeah, it was... I bet it was like right there. five or eight, eight or ten foot deep right there. I, I didn't think about yeah. that. That'd be pretty dangerous right there. Yeah, a barge loaded down dragged the bottom right there. Ooh, that wouldn't be good. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> now, do you think it's because they're a little bit leery of water rising and flooding Nashville like ever, they did? Ever since the flood, they have not let it get um, very high at all. They're sending it down river. Yeah, they're a little gun shy, but rightfully so. Yeah, I would be. Yeah, I'd be. I'd be saying drop the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we've had a lot of rain. Um, it does help the fishing though. Yes. When that water's rising, they're getting a buffet line of worms and insects and everything else. Yeah, the coming shallow the bite is on when the, the water's up. The shallow bite's on that. <laughs> but now when it starts falling, and when they're pulling that current, and it's falling pretty quick. What does Jim Flowers do? Uh, I'm looking for current breaks, um, big rocks, lock walls, trees, points, points, anything that a fish can sit behind and ambush because they're waiting for stuff to come out in front of it and they're going to jump out and grab it. So anything that, uh, that a fish can stay out of the current and just sit, basically just sit there and watch like like we deer hunt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just sitting there waiting for something to come by. They're, then run out there and grab it. Yeah, that water's hot. They're not they're not super super active during the day, so they um, they're just gonna sit there and wait. <laughs> Is this a great time, Jim? Because I know you do a lot of kayak fishing too. You're into the kayak fishing tournament trails and all that. Is this a great time to get your kayaks out and enjoy some smaller rivers and streams yes. and creeks? Yes, right now is my favorite time to go hit those smaller rivers because the fish are a lot more active, the water's cooler. Um, if you go during the week, there's a lot less activity. So, uh, I mean, uh, human activity. So. Yeah. Um, Fishing is usually better on, during the week than it is on weekends. Not many um, sea dews. None, <laughs> none at all. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a it's a very peaceful, pleasant trip to go out on a small river somewhere or creek, and um, just go fishing. And it doesn't matter. I mean, you're not going to catch the size or I mean, depending on where you go. Um, but numbers is, I mean, me and my wife went to the Piney this past weekend. I bet I caught 20 red eye in less than an hour. I had a blast. Yeah, and they're good eating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, did you keep them? No, I didn't keep them. Oh, come on, <laughs> Lindsay. Call me, I'll help you. <laughs> but uh, uh, the other thing is, is you and I both like the Harpeth River. Yeah. And and that's, I think, underutilized. Well, yeah, everybody. It's that, right here in our back door. There's some big smallmouth. Big river. fish in there. Big fish, and not just small mouth, but large mouth. But the ticket is going during the week. I, yeah. don't, I don't like to say that, but if you go on the weekends, it's it's a madhouse. But you can catch a lot of fish during the week out there. Red eye, there's a bunch of red eye on the Harpeth. Lots spotted bass, of spotted lots bass, of, a big yeah. spotted bass. There he is too. Yeah. Uh, another one I like to do, and, and we got that trip coming up in September, and that's uh, uh, the duck. The duck river, yeah. Going with your family, that's an awesome trip. Yeah. I'm going to try not to paddle as much and try <laughs> fishing more. Yeah, that does. <laughs> <laughs> I always found myself trying to play catch up. <laughs> you know? So, so I'm going to try and fish more, but I think we ought to use more live bait. Those smaller rivers, um, live bait can be 
the difference between having an excellent day and having a good day. Yeah. Um, stone rollers. Um, are, Creek chubs. Yeah, the stone rollers are what I usually solely look for as far as I'll take a cast net with me and and catch some stone rollers and put them in a little trolling bucket and um, we had a great time last year with hooking that. them weightless and just we ran out of bait several times too, yeah, if we, you yeah. remember last year yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. they were those stone rollers were quick I'll tell you yeah. they get out from that net yeah. but had a great time caught a lot of fish um, even a 10 inch large mouth felt like you know oh, yeah, you're fishing an ultralight you're fishing ultra You're just lights. out there having a good time. You're not you're not out there trying to win money or anything. No. You're out there away from everybody. Just you, God, and the fish. And the fish. <laughs> and, and it was fun doing it, was it like blast. this. Yeah. Which and I had to save my life, as a matter of fact, last year. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring I that up. I learned some valuable lessons. Anything? I promise you. You know, just don't try <laughs> taking everything with you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Miss Anna. Saved me down there, saved my cooler, my rods and reels, yeah, and everything I'm, I'm else. <laughs> never seen anybody get hit in the head with a orca cooler and, I'm telling you, and not even go out. Not even go out. You, if you the get in a fight with this man, you better hit him hard the first time because he ain't going down. I ain't going down. <laughs> well, it was it was a blast, and and, and Anna even said, <clears throat> "Are you missing anything?" And, and when I ran my leg to try and catch myself, I caught my rod. And I brought my rod up with my toes. <laughs> so I was like, I, I found one. <laughs> so, but, but at this time of year, too, and we were going down Swan Creek. Yep. And I want to let everybody know you can do that. It's a lot of fun. Um, but now we, we had to cross over trees, it was go an in the trees. Yeah. We were doing a lot of beaver dams. Yeah, we were doing yeah. a lot of trudging and. Yeah. Pick it up, and carry it. And it's not something that you go and take kids or or uh, anybody that's not into physical stuff. Physical stuff. You got to do some yeah. physical labor in there. Yeah. So, hey, we got to do our tip of the week. So let's go do it right now. This week's tip of the week is being brought to you by those fine folks over there, Davidson County for Farmers Co-op, right there on Dickerson Road here in uh, North East Nashville. Uh, I promise you, Scott Cooper and that fine crew over there will keep you going in whatever. Food plot mix, minerals, they got the My Blend Deer Minerals. They got everything you need to get those deer ready to go right now. So go give them a try. Tell them you saw them here on Southern Woods and Waters. You got a great tip for us. Uh, when you're out there working your ground for your food plots, using a tractor, Safety is, you cannot speak enough on safety. Mm -mm. When you get off the tractor, before you get off the tractor, disengage your PTO, turn the tractor off, set your parking brake, then get off. It takes an extra five seconds. But it, it could take literally save your life. I know. You just had a friend that was in your tractor club just lost half a foot. Yeah. Because he left his PTO engaged. And didn't set his parking brake. That's crazy. And but it happens. We get familiar. You get, think, oh, you get comfortable. Happen. You get comfortable. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of slope to make a tractor roll. And I'm going to tell you something else, ladies and gentlemen. What I've seen is if you're going to hook up to your disc and you got a friend that he's trying to put the sidebars on, on the clips and everything, keep your feet out of the way. Because that tractor can back up all of a sudden and, and cut a foot. And Dad will tell you really quick not to get behind somebody Don't when they're get backing up. Somebody <laughs> when they're backing up. We have video to prove that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so great, great tip. Thank you so much, Jim, for that tip. And and he's right. You got to think safety all the time while you're on a tractor. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, Joy has done it again with this recipe. This is one that you might want to write it down because when you're cold and you've been in that tree stand all day, this little recipe will warm you right up. Be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters. 